This is Town Square Sunday On Demand. And now, 1420 WBSM's Jim Phillips. I guess that everyone would agree that everyone should experience the joy of uh, riding a bicycle. For a couple of families in our area, they mean everyone. The D'Souza and Greenspan families have children with rare genetic conditions. In order for those children to ride a bike, they need adaptive equipment that can sometimes cost thousands of dollars. Both families decided in 2020 to uh, raise some money to provide adaptive equipment for kids who need it so they can enjoy the freedom of bike riding. They have since morphed into a nonprofit organization, which is called Rare Riders of Massachusetts. Alyssa D'Souza joins us today to spread the word about Rare Riders. Welcome, Alyssa. Thanks so much for having me. So how did the Greenspan family and D'Souza family come together? You you knew each other through a third party, basically. So our kids went to or continue to go to the Schwartz School together. Um, Zane and Tanner were in the same classroom, and they were two kids who didn't nap, so they got to spend a lot of time together during what was supposed to be quiet time. Um, Zane and Tanner, however, are not quiet. So <laughs> they, they're they a little disruptive during nap time, but right. because of their friendship at school, we became friends outside as well. And uh, uh, that uh, kind of built us up up. Now, I understand in 2020, uh, you kind of joked about finding some adaptive equipment on Facebook and... Um, that kind of came true. That, that what started as a, almost a joke, yes, <laughs> came to fruition. Tell us about that. Yes. So Zane was riding an adaptive bike at school, and his physical therapist sent us a picture of him. Um, he was sitting upright. He was pedaling independently. It was it was a proud parent moment, sure. and we loved that he loved riding it. It was something that we didn't think that he would ever be able to do based on his medical conditions. Um, so the fact that he was riding a bike, it was a, a proud mom moment where I put it on Facebook. It was December, right before Christmas time. And I joked, I said, let's hope Santa has $4,200 so that he can put a bike under the tree for Zane. Never in a million years thinking that uh, a few days later that our friends and family would come together and provide that money for him and that and was basically donations from friends and family yes it was a, a proud mom post that turned into a friend starting a gofundme page um, and within a few hours the bike was um, fully funded actually it was overfunded and that's where the greenspans come into the story okay so at that point you said gee we've got some additional money here we don't want that to go to waste we don't need it for uh, uh, Dan, as uh, Dan, as uh, Zane, I mean, I'm sorry. Yep. And uh, we can, we maybe we can help somebody else. Right. Um, we have plenty of things that Zane needs covered because insurance is very finicky with what they do cover. Um, however, we like to share whenever possible. And with that additional funding, we asked our friends, you know, there's another kid in Zane's class who also would benefit from a bike. Do you mind if we use the excess funds to put towards his? And everybody was just in the spirit of giving said, absolutely. We'd love to get a second bike. Um, the Greenspan's family then contributed additional money and both kids had a bike ordered by the end of the week. It was the, the best Christmas magic you can think of <laughs> and then someone said we should file for nonprofit organization yep and kind of do this kind of do this thing raise some money for adaptive bikes we might, we might not be quite as successful as we were yeah <laughs> it's not overnight <laughs> yeah it's not overnight <laughs> but certainly uh, it was a wonderful idea and that's what happened you Yes, when did we, you uh, become an official nonprofit? So we wanted to pay it forward. We wanted other families to experience the the way that we felt when our kids got the bikes. Um, even though they are therapeutic and they're great for the kids, insurance will not cover them. And when you think about it, if you're buying a bike for your typical developing child, it's 
a hundred, couple hundred dollars. Maybe you have to save up for it and not go out to eat a few times. To buy Zane and Tanner's bikes, we would have to choose between like a couple mortgage payments or uh, replacing the windows in our house or not going on multiple vacations for a few years so that we could buy it. Like it, the, the costs just don't line up. So we know that there are plenty of other families in our area that have kids that would benefit from a bike and it's just not feasible. So we decided the best way for us to pay it forward is more bicycles. So uh, the Greenspans had a friend who um, were attorneys who were looking for pro bono cases. So we (laughs) gladly applied to be selected for that. Um, The paperwork took a little while while we were trying to figure out um, all the little details that go into that sort of thing but we got our paperwork earlier this year and the state just granted our 501c3 status um just got that email actually last night <laughs> so, That's great. so everything's everything's moving along uh let's talk for a minute about the uh this adaptive equipment it is Pretty expensive. I was kind of taken aback by it's shocking the cost of some of this stuff. How many zeros they put on it? We joke that it's the disability tax. Yeah. Like anything that they call adaptive, even if it costs them five dollars to adapt it, they just jack up the prices because there's there's no checks and balances in the adaptive world, unfortunately. Yeah. So you've seen equipment run into the thousands of dollars just mm-hmm. just for Easily. these two youngsters, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, so what about the Rare Riders name? That's an interesting uh, uh, little story. Uh, Thanks. Rare Riders, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is, it, is, it, is that just a Massachusetts thing, or is it uh, up and running in other states? If we think we're the only ones. Okay. Uh, the searches that we did, we haven't seen anybody else with that name. Um, we decided where the boys are on bikes that we should make them into a, a jokingly, a, a biker gang of a, a, a bike club. Yeah. Um, so we got them leather cuts and we made them patches. And because of their their rare disorders, we figured we'd call them the rare riders. So okay. if you look at our logo, you'll actually see it's a bike tire, but one of the spokes on the wheel is a DNA strand to designate their disorders. All right. So the rare riders are now riding. They sure degree. are. <laughs> All right, that's great. Might not be straight, but they're riding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the fundraising effort is starting to grow. I know that uh, you just really get started with the uh, nonprofit, but you mm-hmm. did receive a gift in December from the uh, First Federal Credit Union, yep. uh, and that was a nice surprise, wasn't it? That was a great way to start the Christmas season. Um, We were fortunate enough to be selected for their gifts of giving, and their $5,000 donation actually covers a little more than one bike. So we can't wait to pick the next kid and pass it on. You set up a system to do that? We do. We actually have a PayPal account for anyone who is interested in donating electronically. Um, Our page is... Rare Riders Inc. So if you look us up on PayPal, you can find us there and uh, get the tax um, write off for it too. All right. Um, So this is uh, really it's a group that can use the public support. If you have uh, never donated uh, to uh, PayPal, you can do that, as uh, Alyssa has explained. And um, they are hoping to. Do you have a goal? Are you going to try and do one bike a year or two bikes a year? What What do you think? Our goal was one bike a year. However, we are already exceeding that expectation. So our plan is as soon as we can afford a new bike, we're going to buy one and pass it along. The more kids that are riding, that's just that's a, that's a great thing. All right. I understand you've uh, designed some pretty classy T-shirts. Is that a T-shirt I'm looking at in... On, on your Facebook page, or is that a jacket? Um, there's a picture of Zane wearing a leather cut because that's what we do. <laughs> We're just comical like that. Uh, but we did just sell T-shirts as one of our fundraisers. Uh, it does have the Rare Riders logo um, front and back, so you can be a walking advertisement for us in both directions. <laughs> sure. Look, uh, you got to get your website up because people... Yeah. Yeah, but uh, they're not, not quite ready for that yet. Um 
The gift from First Federal, do they do this uh, every year? Is that what they do, the gift of giving? They did it last year, but it was one um, one gift a week. This mm-hmm. year, uh, they went all out, and it was five organizations every week. So it was a, a very large collection of donations yeah. that they made. Congratulations on that. Thanks. Um, you're listening to Town Square Sunday. I'm Jim Phillips. My guest is Alyssa D'Souza, one of the leaders of the Rare Riders nonprofit group, which raises money to pay for adaptive equipment to help young people with a condition or a disability to help them ride a bicycle. And uh, so how many people are involved with Rare Riders? I, I asked you this question before we went on the air. It's surprisingly small right now. We are tiny. It is just um, my husband and I, Michael, and the Greenspans, uh, Lindsay and Jason. We obviously would love more help, but for right now, it's just the four of us putting our heads together and coming up with new ways to fundraise and ways to just promote awareness. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize how hard disability life can be. And uh, certainly... uh you know, the joy of riding a bike, for most of us, we all, we take it for granted. Yes. And when we were kids, we took it for granted. Mm-hmm. But uh, these young people that you're helping, your son, Greenspan's son, and people to follow, yes. uh, they don't take that for granted. They, no. It's a, a wonderful thing. Yes. We find the little things to celebrate, um, like just going to the, the bike trail back here in Fairhaven. It's something that we couldn't do as a family. And now, even though... Zane rides a little slower than my oldest son. He can turn around and come back and catch up to us that way. But we can now ride bikes as a family, which is something that we couldn't say a few years ago. How many people, uh, how many families, rather, have you helped out so far? Uh, in, uh, counting your family, counting the Greenspan family. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't funded under the nonprofit, so to speak. But you've got two families there. And are you ready to deliver a third bike? We are placing the er- the order for the third bike right now. Okay. Um, we're really excited for that. It'll take probably eight weeks or so for it to come in. And then we are in the process of looking for our next recipient. All right. Um, do you have a fundraiser coming up that we should know about? I mean, you're planning fundraisers, I guess, is the best way to... We are still brainstorming, but we are open to any suggestion. Uh, So if anyone wants to team up, we would love to do like a motorcycle club bike run. We think that would be really fun to have an actual motorcycle club support one of our bikes. Mm -hmm. Um, We would love some kind of corporate sponsorship. The bikes are customizable, so we could put logos on them. Um, And we've been looking at um, just restaurant fundraisers. Um, everyone likes to eat, so <laughs> it's sure. an easy way to spend money on dinner, but also have it go to a good cause as well. All right. Um, what's the goal of your nonprofit? I mean, uh, it, you know, so we're going to do a one bike a year. Well, yeah, I, I get that, uh, but you've got to find ways to be, you know, what, what happens when, you, when you're somewhat successful, you want to be more successful. Yes. You want to help more people. Each time you hit that level, it's not enough, and you keep yeah. raising the bar. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, probably adaptive equipment will keep being expensive, and prices keep going up. So yes, that's another situation. <laughs> but have you thought about goals or mission statements or anything like that? Uh, our ultimate goal is to provide a bike to any kid that needs one or wants one. Um, we would love to have a full gang of kids riding bikes, um, just having kids being able to ride with their friends. So whatever that number is, it, it might be an infinite number at this point. Um, we would just, we'd like to see the bikes out and about and have them start conversations and make them a, a normal part of the area. So the idea for this uh, group uh, really started at the Schwartz Center. It did. Which uh, has really done a tremendous job over the years, over the decades, Mm -hmm. of uh, helping people with disabilities, helping youngsters with disabilities uh, try and find a a purpose and uh, giving parents uh, hope. That's another thing that it does for sure. So, um, 
but it was really the bike riding that your son and the Greenspan mm-hmm. child did yes. that said, look at this. Wow, this is pretty good. Yes, it was It was a moment of, of normalcy. Yeah. yeah, and that's important to have when you're a parent. It sure is. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Again, if people want to donate, how can they do so? Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Rare Riders, and we also have PayPal, uh, Rare Riders, Inc. And if you have a cash donation, I am more than willing to pick it up anywhere. <laughs> sure. All right. So uh, if you'd like to be in touch with Alyssa D'Souza, uh, you can do that through Facebook or other uh, means. If you'd like to make a donation, uh, please do so. Uh, this is a fledgling uh, nonprofit. But it has some uh, significant goals here because, again, this equipment is expensive and uh, it runs into the thousands of dollars. So if you can help, uh, that would be a great uh, way to uh, help the rare riders of Massachusetts pay it forward. We would love that. Uh, Alyssa, thank you very much for coming in. Good luck with this. Thank you so much. And good luck with uh, your son and uh, the Greenspan family as well. Thank you. My thanks to Alyssa D'Souza, one of the founders of Rare Riders of Massachusetts. That's an organization that raises money to uh, purchase adaptive equipment so youngsters with disabilities or conditions can get on a bicycle and enjoy that activity like most of the rest of us. Uh, Good luck once again. Don't go away. Town Square Sunday is back in just a moment. 